For extreme skier and climber Jimmy Chin, life is all about the outdoors, and outdoors he sees changing before his eyes. We live in the outdoors, and we have a very natural con connection to the, the natural world, and we see what's happening on a very visceral level, and we're, we're impacted by it. Chin combines his love of extreme expeditions and cinematography. He won an Oscar for the documentary Free Solo. I've always been conflicted about shooting a film about free soloing just because it's so dangerous. It's hard to not imagine your friend, Alex, soloing something that's extreme. His office is the outdoors, and he's seeing the effects of climate change. We're definitely seeing like seasonal shifts. Where like what? You can look when you're on the wall and you can see all the trees that have died and people say, oh, well, that's a, you know, beetle infestation. Yeah, well, that's a beetle infestation because it hasn't been cold enough. The normal cycles kill off a lot of the beetles and now they don't. So when you drive through Colorado or Wyoming or through Yellowstone, um, you know, giant swaths of the landscape are totally different. Teaming up with snowboarder Jeremy Jones and his advocacy group Protect Our Winters, the athletes typically storm Capitol Hill to press lawmakers for legislation. But advocacy during a pandemic is a little more virtual. Uh, but sadly, the climate continues to change for the worse. With people staying home because of COVID, carbon emissions have temporarily dropped around 17 percent. You know, in many ways, that's a big number, but it's not going to get us where we need to get to with CO2 reduction. And it just shows we uh, really need this large scale uh, systemic change in, in our whole society. And that's what we fight for. Jones is leading more than 900 elite athletes and outdoor enthusiasts in a virtual CDC compliant lobbying week on Capitol Hill. For athletes like Jimmy Chin, being stuck at home is allowing him to advocate. I've been trying to make one of these um, lobbying weeks for many years and I've, I've never been able to make it because of travel or, or other work and this year I'm making it because it's virtual and so I think there is opportunity to um, bring some more voices in that might not normally be able to, to make it. Olympic cross-country gold medalist Jesse Diggins is another of the many athletes swarming lawmakers Zoom meetings. Delivering a landmark moment that will be etched in U.S. Olympic history. The first ever cross-country gold medal for the U.S. Can you explain to me how your sport, how you have seen changes in your sport, if at all, because of climate? I've had so many races where we've been racing in January in mountain towns that, you know, their entire economy depends on snow, right? Like the entire town revolves around winter tourism. And we were competing on a strip of man-made icy slushy snow with green grass and mud on either side of the trail. And I can't tell you how many times that's happened. President Donald Trump has called climate change a hoax withdrew from the Paris Climate Accord and rolled back dozens of environmental regulations. What are the chances things can happen this year or do you have to wait perhaps for a new administration? I mean, we definitely cannot wait. I mean, scientists continue to tell us we, we need to make um, serious change and we need to make it now. We're advocating for really our our children. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.